Darkness hovers above us. You can feel it, but you cannot see it because a God has been summoned, the cancel God. The cancel God wants to cancel you. It wants to cancel everyone you know. It wants to cancel humanity itself. We felt that putting this in a mythological story structure would give it a different angle to consider the concept. So right now, for whatever reason, cancel culture is the, the hot meme that a lot of people are talking about. And it feels right to release something, to have an original take on it uh, that will give pause to people when they're you know, arguing about uh, should cancel culture be a thing or it's not a thing. And think about sort of the, on an energetic level, on a spiritual level, what is occurring. So the cancel God has one goal, and that is to cancel humanity itself. The cancel God doesn't give a shit about being woke, doesn't care about your political ideologies. Uh, it has one goal, it's just to cancel all of us. The idea with cancel culture is get the word cancellation, you know, you're canceled. And with that, there's no room for, for dialogue, there's no room for nuance, there's no room for redemption, most importantly. And in order to cancel problematic ideas, you cancel people who hold those problematic ideas. And the idea there is you view them as inherently problematic, you view them as evil. And there's a sense of hatred, there's a sense of anger, intense hatred and anger and, and a religious fervor that comes from this cancellation. And, and from that, the being of the cancel god emerged. We felt that the cancel god is malnourished, that is, it, it is insatiable and that it eats truth, right? It eats the ability to speak truth by um, canceling everyone's ability to come out into the public square and, and speak their truthfulness. But it also speaks to the fact that it is yeah, just deeply malnourished and in constant want, and that it can never be satiated. And it's this, this devouring hole in its chest um, will, yeah, will never be fed until it is all canceled. There is this state of fear that a lot of people are living in. And I have friends who are in, let's say, more of centrists, people who are maybe a little bit more reactionary, and I have progressivist friends too. And across the board, across this political spectrum, everyone's afraid of cancel culture. Everyone's kind of stumbling on their words. They're, they're, they're um, not sure what they can say. So they're, they're guarding themselves. And so they're not really fully showing up with their truth. And that is uh, something that I think is needed, is to fully show up with our truth and have the courage to be wrong. There's a tragic component of the adept of cancel in that they continuously project their own shadow material outwardly onto their perceived enemies. In a way, they're trying to cancel their own shadow by projecting it onto these outward enemies. My hope, uh, and it could be a naive hope, is for this piece to serve as a psychoactive meme, if you will, like a psychoactive drug, that when people see it, they'll never look at cancel culture the same way again. They will see maybe something else is going on, some kind of dark energy, some dark force, and how this idea of cancel culture has a nihilistic energy about it. And it just doesn't want to cancel people who are not woke or problematic. It wants to cancel everyone, even people who are woke. Yeah, I, I hope for the same. And I actually would like to invite anyone who feels creatively inspired and urged to take this further, explore it, uh, cancel it, anything you want to do, as long as it's creative. If there's like a creative way to cancel this, <laughs> a creative way to cancel us, go ahead. I think that will, again, that's, that's, uh, that's out there as a possibility as we juggle with, you know, contend with all these forces that I think at the end when taking with truth and honesty make us better.